Wellerman come Bring us coffee, tea and rum One day when the tucking is done Take our meal and go At a fair Many members of my audience are very experienced and skilled sailors, and many of them even more so than myself. But here's a little tip on rowing. I have to assume that there are many people who are interested in sailing and rowing and have never done it, and people who are inexperienced. So here's something I've thought of that can help. The thing about rowing is you're facing the opposite direction of travel. That's kind of the essential thing. There are certain types of traditional boats where you actually face the other way but for the most part you're, you're facing backwards so it can be hard to keep a straight line and especially if you have a boat with a round bilge and no skeg or not much of a skeg it's going to be very difficult but this boat that i've built will inherently track pretty straight because of its skeg and because of its hard chine but still there's there's measures that you have to take to keep it going straight. What I do is I look over the bow for a point on land that I want to travel to. Use the oars to align the bow to that point, check. Then on this boat, I have a sculling notch dead in the center of the transom. So as soon as the bow is aligned, I look at the transom and now I can pick another point that will correlate with the one that I just sighted to the bow. And I can use this sculling notch as a sight as I'm rowing to make sure it's aligned with whatever point of reference I'm looking at over the stern. And of course, all that depends on what the wind and waves are doing. You may have to compensate a little bit. If your rudder is down, you can use a little bit of helm to adjust for the wind pushing the bow around, say. And also, you should be constantly checking over your shoulder and looking for shallow objects because there can be large tree trunks and limbs and rocks depending on where you are rowing. So you always have to be aware of what you're running into. There could be other boats, could be ducks floating, people swimming, divers, sea monsters, carp. This channel will continue to charge along under full sail, but at CumberlandRover.com I offer videos not available on this channel or anywhere else. The videos and articles are free. I don't run ads, but I do have a store offering some unique handmade products of my own design that I think will be of interest to sailors and outdoor enthusiasts.